This video demonstrates how Vitro automates the workflow of an oncology patient from referral through to treatment. Once the patient is referred to the hospital, Vitro receives the electronic referral and an email is sent to the relevant doctor notifying them that a referral has been received. An appointment is made and as the patient is admitted on PAS, they appear in the correct location under the Patients tab. The patient is sent by their doctor for a series of tests. Any integrated information from third-party systems such as pathology results, scans, endoscopy videos or x-rays automatically populate vitro. The doctor must acknowledge the results. In order to do this, they must have permission to do so and must view all pages of the results before clicking the Acknowledge button. Once the doctor clicks Acknowledge, his or her name is attached as well as the date and time. All results received are available to view in the patient chart book. A download button can be made available from inside Vitro to open the detailed results in another system, for example the PAC system. Once a diagnosis has been established, the doctor can then prescribe a course of treatment. In this example, the doctor is ordering the drugs required for a course of chemotherapy. Once the doctor completes the prescription, he or she enters their username and password to attach their signature. They then click send and send it to the pharmacy group. The prescription now appears in the pharmacy inbox. The pharmacy then begins the process of preparing the chemotherapy drugs. Labels are prepared, ingredients assembled and product prepared. As each of these checks are made, Vitro automates the workflow of the pharmacy worksheet. Here, the user is preparing the pharmacy worksheet and labels. Vitro automatically alerts the user to incorrect dates or times. Volumes and doses are automatically calculated incorporating limits or safety guards. Once the pharmacist has prepared the worksheet and labels, they enter their PIN and their name is attached to the worksheet. It closes and is sent to the next user's inbox so they can complete the next stage in the chemotherapy drug preparation process. The next user logs in to prepare the drugs and the worksheet is located in their inbox with a message indicating the worksheet is waiting for the ingredients to be assembled. The user opens the worksheet and prepares the product, entering the batch number and expiry date. Again, Vitro alerts the user if the product has expired. Here, the product is assembled and checked by two different users. Both users are identified by their PIN and must have the permissions necessary to attach their name, completing the check. Again, the worksheet closes and automatically moves into the next user's inbox in order to complete the next stage of the drug preparation. The final user logs in in order to distribute the drug. Once the chemotherapy drugs have been distributed, nursing staff complete a chemotherapy checklist. The nurse selects the drug from a drugs database and then works through the checklist. In order to administer the drugs to the patient, everything in the checklist must be green or answered yes. By completing the chemotherapy drug preparation worksheet electronically on vitro, the preparation time taken can be reduced from 45 minutes to 5 minutes.